this idea of the metaverse. And many people are using this term. I think there's a degree of disalignment in terms of what the hell that actually means. I mean, to give a couple examples, are we in the metaverse as we're recording this conversation? If there's an online auction, is that in the metaverse? If I'm staring at my phone for an hour intently watching TikTok, am I in the metaverse? And so as someone who coined the term, and I know not everyone will agree with your definition or your perspective, but I am curious to hear from you, what do you think of as the metaverse per se? In general, to, to address the specific things that you mentioned, um, I think anything that's being used a lot today um, uh, probably is not very metaverse-like because in general, when people talk about the metaverse, they're talking about the next thing that's coming along. And so if it exists today, that suggests that maybe it's a pre, largely a pre-metaverse thing. But there are some exceptions that we can talk about in certain kinds of games and other experiences uh, that I think are kind of on ramps. You know, one of my one of the most basic ones is: Do we talk about the metaverse or metaverses plural? And um, so my my colleague uh, Tony Parisi has got seven rules of the metaverse, and rule number one is that there's only the metaverse. There's not a bunch of metaverses. So that for me is a strong indicator. If I see someone talking about our metaverse or a metaverse, yeah, I immediately begin to question whether they really got it. Uh, whereas if somebody talks about arts, the thing, what we're building in the metaverse, that gives me more of a warm feeling uh, about what they're doing. And, and I think that's because a central idea of the metaverse, at least in the book, is that there is just one of them. And that doesn't mean that it's all kind of the same thing everywhere. Far from it. It's an incredibly diverse range of experiences, but you can always get from one to the other um, by, by moving around in a single unitary space. Right. There's a degree of interoperability, right, between one and another. I'm curious to hear your perspective on that, though, because... I guess your point is that we haven't made it to the metaverse yet, but many of the on-ramps you could say now, whether it's gaming or social or degrees of immersion that we have online, don't really have these connections, right? So, so many of them are disparate from one another. And so do you think that will change? I know we're going to get into your company, Lamina One, and I know there's other efforts by by parties in, quote unquote, the metaverse space. I think there was a consortium of 37 companies recently that came together to discuss this. But to get back to the question, do you see this changing? Because this has not been the precedent in the last, you know, couple decades. I do see it changing. There's not going to be one top down big boss that says, here's how it's all going to work. It's going to be sort of ad hoc arrangements of people trying to work together. I think that the closest things that we currently can see to metaverse-like experiences are games like Fortnite, Roblox, Minecraft, where you've got a bunch of people running around in a space. They're all experiencing the same space at the same time. I mean, there might be shards, um, but uh, but the idea is there that you're you're going to a place and you're sharing it with other people. They've got huge user bases and and uh, because of the the revenue that that those generate and just the sheer amount of experience that those companies can rack up by running those operations from day to day, you know they're kind of the leading candidates for coming together to build metaverse type experiences. And I know that they're all actively thinking about this and how to do it. And I suspect that they're talking to one another about how do we build a bridge from our game or our experience to your game so that a person could go from one to the other. Uh, it may take some years to to really uh, come together, but, um, but I think it will come together. And um, you know, I'm excited to uh, to see it happen and maybe be part of it. Mm -hmm. 